Ta-da! What is happening out there in YouTube land? It is yours truly once again, Rockin' Dave, the real deal. North Fort Myers, Southwest Florida, my friends. Welcome to the best guitar lessons on the planet ever. And why do I say that? Because I aim to make these as simple and as comprehensive as possible. No confusion here, my friends. There's no need for me to show you how smart I am to make you feel dumb. I don't believe in that. I would never do that. I am not smarter nor better than anybody. I just know what the hell I'm doing. That makes a big difference. And I try to make it where you can understand it. Okay, so always make sure you blow through the smoke screens of confusion. You will never be lost, my friends. Okay. And that was just, what I just did opening up was straight into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Drudge Benson model on overdrive number one with the uh, drive on number seven. So very light distortion. Okay, so as promised from the last video, which was the sharps and flats, I'm going to show you a very easy way to get it embedded in your mind all the natural notes. That's equivalent to playing all the white keys on the piano. Okay? And I figure let's just do this in the high E string because when people solo, they want to go to the higher notes anyway. So it's it, this is why I'm doing it in this direction instead of starting from the, the top low E string. But what we're going to do is work on our alternate picking and walk the notes. Now, a quick uh, tidbit on alternate picking. The reason why I stress it so much is if you start with bad habits, sometimes they're very hard to break. The slurs and legato playing you can always add to, but a lot of people, if they don't get used to alternate picking right away, then when they try to come back to it, it's, it's very difficult for them. But here's something to keep in mind. Alternate, alternate, alternate picking is is the equivalent to when you first started to walk. You know, you walked like this. You didn't hop around on one leg and then hop right on, around on the other leg. You simply went like that, right? So it's the same concept. Down, up, down, up, down, up, or up, down, up, down, up, down. Remember, if you start with a down stroke, your next time you hit the string is an up stroke, and vice versa. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. And basically... I think my camera's doing something funny here, so I don't want this to get blurry, okay? Basically, we are going to be walking up, open, all the way down to the second octave range. This happens to have 24 frets, so this is also E. You have open E here. You have your 12th fret E here. That's one full octave. That's the first octave. And then the second octave rings is on the 24th fret. Okay. So I'm going to do this as slowly as possible. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop off a note and repeat notes and drop off a note and repeat notes. And this is going to give you the, the ability to walk up and down the fretboard. So you get your finger movement and shape. And then you get all your natural notes locked in your memory bank. Okay? So, basically, it's going to look like this. And, you know, do it at a really comfortable pace. I'm not going to speed through this, okay? So here is what I'm playing. And you could say these notes in your mind. Keep in mind it might be a little bit difficult when you go backwards to say them. Okay, it's kind of like saying the alphabet backwards. But this is basically what we have. E, F, G. F, G, A. G, A, B. A, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E, D, E, F, E, F, G, F, G, A, G, A, B, A, B, C, 
C D C D E D C D C B C B A B A G A G F G F E F E D E D C D C B C B A B A G A G F G F E Take your time with this my friends and trust me you know you're probably not going to be saying it out loud like that because I know it can be confusing but once you get this down and use this as an exercise and just work with it up and down the fretboard up and down the fretboard you're going to get your fingers to move very fluid you'll work on your alternate picking and you'll be embedding in your mind where these natural notes are at it really is not rocket science you know everyone would always talk about dedication devotion dedication devotion but very seldom do they talk about discipline because that's what it takes to be good and how you delegate your time that's very important you know if you do not take care of the necessities in life when you sit down and practice you're going to have all that on your mind and you will never be able to focus because you're going to have other things on your mind so that's why when i was teaching a lot of young kids i would tell them homework first when i was teaching adults you know i would tell them always get the necessities out of the way so that when you pick up your guitar, even if it's 10 minutes a day, what you could do is you'll have that focus factor that much stronger because you're not going to have all this other stuff on your mind. I hope that makes sense. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave in the comments how you like these because we're going to be continuing the next phase. I'm going to be doing the B and the E string up and down the fretboard. And uh, these lessons are going to progress. And then we'll get into the major and minor scales as they progress and this whole number system, at least the way that it should be explained in simplistic way so no one gets confused. Okay, my friends. And then we'll get into chords and stuff like that as well. This is this whole series, so it's not going to be all in one shot. All right, my friends. Until next video, I thank you for all your support. If you like, subscribe, hit the dinner bell. Hit the likes, do all the other stuff. I really appreciate it. Until our next video, and most important, you stay safe, you stay true, rock on, and God bless you, my friends. Thanks for watching.